In this 25 minute video, you're gonna get a window into watching me do some prompt engineering with one of my great clients who has been buying some realtor.com leads, asked me to work with her virtual assistant to create a 10 day text message and email thread. So you're gonna get the whole experience of me walking through this process. And at the very end, I'll tell you where to get your own access to the entire thread so you can literally copy and paste the text message and the email thread and use it for yourself. The reason why I want everybody to take a look at this is because I've been doing a lot of prompt engineering with my clients and how I'm using these AIs to produce some extraordinary outcomes. I want you to experience that. I hope you enjoy this. We also did a short version of this video too, a five to seven minute clip. So you can have access to that and we'll link to that at the very end as well. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today I wanna to take you through how to use ChatGPT and let's create a campaign for a specific lead type that registers on your website. Today, we're gonna to take a look at realtor.com, but we can also do the same thing for Zillow. We can do the same thing for pay-per-click on your website or a Facebook ad. So it really doesn't matter, but what I wanna focus on is some of the prompt engineering that I would use to be able to help you create that yourself. And then it's an easy process for you to take that content and integrate into any CRM that you have, any text template or email template, any automation that you've got. So let's have some fun. Let's get started with some of our prompt engineering and writing. Whenever I go to do creating a prompt, step number one is to ask the AI to act as an expert type. Now, I think most real estate agents that I know and most entrepreneurs that I know do not understand what copywriting is or advanced copywriting is. Copywriting is a term, you should take a look at it. You should just type it into ChatGPT and say, what is copywriting and how does it work? And let's take a quick look at what that says. So if I was to ask, right, ChatGPT or AI to act as an expert copywriter. That's the art and science of writing text known as, right? Copywriting, marketing, and advertising. The primary goal of copywriting is to persuade the listener or viewer to take a specific action, such as make a purchase, subscribing, signing up for a newsletter, or clicking the link. Effective copywriting grabs attention and engages the audience and motivates them to act. Today's episode is sponsored by my favorite virtual assistant hiring company, Sphere Rocket VA. I've created a great relationship with them, so I'm very proud to offer a sponsorship link for those of you like me who are looking to build their digital marketing team. I currently have three virtual assistants, one to help me manage my coaching business and all the admin, and then one video editor, and then one to help me with my digital marketing. If you are looking to build a nice little team, Sphere Rock VA is absolutely worthy of your choice. Once you schedule an appointment, the link down below, I will shoot you over an email with all of my resources and the information to the VA Digital Marketing Mastermind that you can come join. So I look forward to connecting with you and helping you build your digital marketing VA team. So my friends out there, if you wanted to use AI to create a marketing or sales or an influential message that produces a result, we should probably ask the AI to act as an expert copywriter first and foremost. Okay. So how copywriting works, you know, boom, writing, defining, implementing, testing, and optimization. Great. Step number two is to actually ask the AI what it knows about two things. What does it know about realtor.com? And we also want to ask about someone who is requesting more information on realtor.com i.e. a lead. So let's ask the AI what it knows about this particular platform and what it knows about this audience. And that way we can confirm that we can then ultimately ask the AI to be an expert copywriter who is writing on behalf of a real estate agent who is addressing a lead from realtor.com that is a buyer. And if we ask all of those things of the AI, we just want to step to confirm that it knows what we're talking about. So let's ask. And then once it knows what we're talking about, writing this next step will be really easy. Let's go here. 
do you know what realtor.com is and the service it offers real estate agents let's just see what it says and i'm sure it'll probably have an answer to what realtor.com is it's a blah 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 and but we really want to know what the service is that it offers to agents Okay, so services realtor offers to real estate agents is an MLS integration. Featured listings, fine. Lead generation, so realtor.com connect. This is a lead generation service, delivers leads directly to real estate agents based on their local markets. Agents can receive buyer and seller inquiries from potential clients who view their listings or search for agents on the platform. Okay, Op City referral program explains that, great. Okay, CRM and tools, fine okay and then agent profiles good idea market insights great virtual tours excellent content additional resources why real estate agents use it massive reach lead generation credibility brand building data analysis good so just basically read everything online about realtor.com so regarding the lead generation service what do you know about the leads that realtors buy from realtor.com? Let's just ask it, see if it has a better understanding specifically about the audience that we want to create a campaign for. Great, connect plus leads, direct leads, exclusive territory, lead distribution, right? So leads are delivered in real time via email, text, and phone call, allowing agents to follow up quickly and convert leads effectively. Wonderful. Okay. So we can now actually tell the, uh, Hey, regarding these realtor.com connection plus leads. So now we can actually reference with the AI realtor.com and it would know it. And we can also reference connection plus leads. So we've kind of been building our prompt. So now we can say act as an expert copywriter for a real estate agent who purchased realtor.com connection plus leads. So now the AI would have a clear understanding of all of those terms and then it can now start to do the work that we would want it to do. So now let's ask the AI in the same thread if it understands what a fully automated campaign is, meaning that we would create a drip campaign, a text, an email, a follow-up sequence, and let's ask it what it knows about the best practices for that. What are the best practices for creating a new lead follow up campaign that's automated? Let's just see what it says regarding best practices and let's see if it understands what we're talking about. And the interesting question is going to be is, will the AI understand based upon what I've already put into ChatGPT that it knows that we've been talking about in this thread? We've been talking about copywriting, realtor.com, lead generation. And now I'm asking, does it know what the best practices are? Let's see if it actually puts all of that information together and helps us to do that. So here we are. Yes, it did. It said, creating a successful automated lead follow-up campaign is essential for real estate agents to nurture prospects, build relationships, and ultimately convert leads into clients. The best practices for developing an effective automated campaign focuses on personalization, timing, and delivering valuable content at every stage of the buyer and seller journey. Below are the key steps and best practices for building high converting lead follow-up campaigns. Cool. So it did. It kind of understands what we're doing, why we're doing it. So it says segment your leads, obviously. Use your CRM to create segments like new inquiries, long-term nurture prospects, buyers versus sellers and homeowners who have expressed interest in the value of their home. Good idea. Now craft a multi-channel strategy, email and text message with phone calls. Good idea. Now it understands that we could ask it to act as an expert copywriter for realtor.com home buyer leads 
and help me craft a multi-channel follow-up campaign for text message and email. And it would now understand everything that I asked with clarity. So that is a pretty cool step. Use merge fields, personalized property suggestions, map the buyer seller journey, good idea. So let's see what this says, map the buyer seller journey. Leads go through different stages before they're ready to buy or sell. Aligning the follow-up with their journey ensures that you're delivering the right message at the right time. Create a workflow based on their progress through the lead funnel. Immediate response. Send a welcome email or text within minutes of receiving the lead. Good idea. Educational content. Follow up with helpful resources tailored to their interests, such as buyer seller guides, property. So that is a little bit more of an advanced step. We need to really first focus on getting an immediate response and we're going to dig into that. Then this is something that we need to work on second. Nurture sequence, of course, is really where the success of a low cost internet lead happens in the 12 months to the 18 month follow up campaign. So if you have Facebook leads or you have pay per click leads or you even have a realtor.com or a Zillow lead, there's always a percentage of conversion within the first 30, 60, 90 days. But then there's another percentage of conversion within six months to a year and there's an entire new percentage within one year to two years and so if we're going to invest money into the lead generation and invest money into these you know sexy glamorous website crm combinations or fancy crms like a follow-up boss we want those tools to help us to actually nurture a lead automatically for up to two years that way we can maximize the return on investment let's take a look at what it says here automated drip campaigns drip campaigns keep your leads engaged over time without requiring mutual effort allowing you to focus on hot leads while still nurturing others good idea set up an automated drip campaigns that sends a series of rewritten emails over a specific period of time based upon the lead stage example sequence buyers great start with a welcome email send them regular property updates home buying tips and market insights over time i think if we could accomplish just that one thing we would then have relatively good success what i noticed is most agents who don't have some version of this basic formula set up for a one-year calendar to a two-year calendar if they don't have that set up then they will be below the average conversion rates average conversion rate of a facebook lead would be somewhere in the range of 1%. The average successful conversion of a pay-per-click lead would be around 2%. The average conversion rate of a realtor.com lead is going to be around 5%. The average conversion rate of a Zillow lead is going to be somewhere in the range of 7%. So, and again, Facebook lead is going to be the cheapest, pay-per-click a little bit more expensive, realtor.com more expensive, Zillow is the most expensive. So, if we had a well Welcome with regular property updates, with home buying tips and some market insights. And we establish that as a rhythm over the course of an 18 month window, you will have probably in the range of the average conversion rates. Obviously, if the lead responds and you don't have the skills to convert, well, then that's on you. But in terms of getting the response and getting the opportunity for you to engage with that cold lead, the system does the work to get the ability for you to have a communication with them and to earn their business. Your ability to earn their business is a different conversation, but for today, we're just creating a campaign that allows these people to be nurtured automatically with our systems so that we can focus on our hot leads versus spending all our time wondering if these people are alive and willing to do anything. This says timely follow-up intervals. Good idea. Okay, so how? Immediate response, send an automated email and SMS within five minutes of receiving a lead. Good idea. One to three days, send a personalized welcome message and provide value such as free resources or consultation. Good idea. Week number one, follow up with more detailed content like market trends or property recommendations. Fine. And then ongoing for less than immediate leads create a long-term nurture sequence that checks in weekly, monthly with new content, listing alerts, and updates. Totally simple, straightforward. Yes, everybody. Okay. Lead scoring and prioritization. This is a good idea. 
implement a lead scoring system that assigns uh, points based upon actions, opening emails, clicking on links, viewing properties, and scheduling appointments. Sure. Include a clear CTA in every communication. Let's take a look at that. Early stages, download our home buyer's guide free market reports. This would probably not be my first stage. This is probably going to be my second and third stage. What I really want is for me, number one is schedule a consultation, find out your home's value today. So to me, I'd flip this schedule your consultation should be number one. Do you want to see an available property or do you want to schedule a consultation? Those to me are number one. This other download your guide and free reports to me, that is really number two. Okay. So I have a disagreement with that, but that's okay. Test and analyze. Fine. Let's do that. Maintain consistency and value of course. All right, so let's complete the final prompt and let's see how this works. So act as an expert copywriter for a real estate agent who bought realtor.com leads called Connection Plus Home Buyer Leads and help create automated text and email campaign. Focus on the first 10 days. The goal is to get engagement on either seeing a property, discussing questions about a property, or ideally scheduling a home buying consultation after the first 10 days the second campaign will be designed as a long term nurture campaign now let's hit enter and let's see if it understands everything that we asked it to do act as an expert copywriter for a real estate agent about realtor.com, Connection Plus Home Buyer Leads to help me create an automated text. And I did give it a specific outcome. I had to train it, hey, we want this type of outcome, right? Welcome, let's find your dream home, hi, right? Thanks for checking out home, homes on realtor.com, lo your local expert. And let's get started with browse homes, target available, schedule home buying consultation. Day two, follow up on property interest, right? Just want to check if you had any chance to see homes that caught your interest. I can set up a private showing or we can talk about what you're looking for. Feel free to reach out. Have any questions about any listings i'd hate the term listings but that's okay day four home buyer guide okay so we're gonna tell the ai that we do not currently have a home buyer's guide which we could very easily create one on ChatGPT for all of us and we can follow that same prompting sequence for creating a home buyer guide so we'll do that on a up and coming video session but this is pretty good it did not follow my advice i asked it to focus in the first 10 days with the goal of seeing property discussing questions about a property or scheduling a home buying consultation so let's tell the ai that it did not follow my instructions please follow my instructions on the first 10 days the main outcomes are discuss a property and answer any questions about a property number two is schedule a showing of a property for sale and number three would be most important is to schedule either a virtual home buying consultation or an in-market face-to-face home buying consultation. Please use expert copywriting skills to convert the lead into a home buying consultation appointment. This, the home buying consultation is the best step 
for the customer, but they are unaware of why this would be in their best interest. Okay, so there we go. Now we should probably get a better response. So I look at homes with questions, set up a home tour, right? quick consultation, what works what's best. Let's make sure home search is easier. Good. I saw as you've been checking out homes, whether you're just starting a search or ready to take action today, I'm here to help. Best way to kick off your home buyer journey is a free home buyer consultation, either virtual, just we can discuss. Good idea. Highlight the benefits of the consultation. Hey, just wonder if you're interested in a quick home buyer consultation. It's free. It's easy to get personalized advice on your search and learn what's possible based on your goals. I've got available to this week. Okay, good idea. Ready to simplify your home search? Good. So it's selling hard right now. Address their concerns and reassure them. The home buying process can bring up. Yep, fine. Okay, emphasize the value of consultation with social proof. Good idea. Okay, personalized property suggestions, another invitation, fine, right? Urgency and final call to action, okay? Now, I'm gonna ask it to do one more thing is to give me some variety as opposed to just slamming the home consultation every single time, which I don't have a problem with, but let's ask the A to create a little bit of variety where we'd say, you know, would you like to see a property? Would you like to just simply have a conversation, right? Or would you like to schedule a virtual consultation, which would be easy to do if you're outside of the market and you just want your questions answered more specifically or in market consultation. And we obviously don't want to eliminate the ability of the consumer to just request to see a property. So we do want to offer that they can request to see a property. No problem. I will schedule that for you, right? So let's ask the AI to add some variety in the first 10 days. Please add some variety in the messaging over the 10 days, right? Meaning some leads may just have a question about a property. Some may want to go see a property and some may be open to a virtual consultation and some are ready to see a property and figure out what it would take to buy the home campaign to reflect these options to ensure we meet the customer where they are. Good idea. Let's see if it does it. Should be interesting. Please add some variety in the messaging of 10 days. You have to take advantage, yes. With very messaging, thank you. Okay. First introduction. All right. Good. Better. Thanks for going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whether you just started or you have a question about the property, want to do oh, I'm here to help. Good. Just we can make things easy. We can. Great. Beautiful. Much better. Good. Offering answer, answering questions, showings, and consultations. Just checking in, right? If you have any questions about homes you've seen, I can help you with that or schedule a home tour. If you're not sure where to start, we can chat in a quick consultation to get you on track. Let me know. Much better, right? Have questions, want a property tour? Wonderful. Good. Okay, there we go. Much better. Right, ready to see property. Let's set up a time. Much better. We've seen any homes that you're interested in. This is significantly better. Alternative, we can schedule home buying consultation where we can discuss, figure out, right? Answer any questions, much better. Property suggestions and consultation. I found a couple of homes in that you might love. Would you like to schedule a showing or have a quick consultation? Talk about what it would take to make an offer. You can book time here, schedule a link. I found some homes for you might like. Good, I love that, good job. 
Based upon your interest in, I found a couple of properties that might be a great fit. Property details one, two. That's not necessarily automated, so we have to be careful with that. So I might just delete that. Um, I would just change this up. This is super important and just say, what price point and area are you interested in? What price point and area are you interested? And then I would like to send you a custom list of properties. So I would make a quick update, everybody. I would like to send you a custom list of properties. What price range and area are you interested in? Let's add one simple engagement request within the 10 days use utilize this language and integrate where appropriate in the 10 day campaign the question is what price range and area are you most interested in the best hook is would you like me to send you a custom list of properties that are either on the market now or off market opportunities available or coming to the market. Let's see if we can get a good response out of that because that actually would work really well. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Great, much better. Make things easier, you can just let me know. Great, create a custom list of homes, beautiful. Any questions, there we go, much better. If you know what price range and area you're most interested in, I can send you, right? We can also, much better, good, all right. All right, so we've got a first step of the 10-day automated consultation. The AI followed our instructions pretty well, and I hope you guys learned a little bit about prompt engineering here. And then shoot me a quick email uh, if you want me to send you over this 10-day uh, campaign that I just created for Realtor.com's leads. That would be easy to do. Uh, just shoot me an email uh, in the subject line with Realtor.com. Grab my email down below, and I'm happy to help do this for you. Very easy.